Well, it happened again. I've got too many things to unbox. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Coffee with Katie. Have my Books Are Portable Magic glass mug and a Starbucks latte. So today's video is going to be a big unboxing. I have three things that came kind of all at once. I was away for the for Christmas and so my mail was held and then a couple of things showed up all at once. So I have the Fairy Loot YA and Adult Box for December and the December box for the Broken Binding. So let's just go. First up is the Adult Box for Fairy Loot. And the theme for December is Eclipse. And let's just get into it. Whoops. Woo! Okay, so the book for December is Feybound by Sarah L. Arifi. Or Sarai L. Arifi. This is a beautiful book. I've been really curious about this. It's some sort of fey story. But the book itself is beautiful. And then Fairy Loot did this like blue colorway. Look at those edges. And then this is the art print and author letter. Dust jacket looks a little bit weird, but um, this is the reverse side of the dust jacket. Very pretty. The naked hardcover. Also very beautiful. Look at that. Looks like this is signed by the author and the end pages are beautiful. And um, if the name sounds familiar, this is the same author that did the, oh, Battle Drum. The Final Strife and the Battle Drum. This is that author. So, um, very excited to have this. This is a beautiful edition. Um, let me tell you a little bit what the synopsis is about. It says, a tale of two sisters forced out of the elven lands and into the terrifying wilderness only to discover the seductive fake court, which has not been seen for a millennium. Now you know as much as I do, but this is really cool and I look forward to reading it sometime. Now let's get into the Broken Binding unboxing. We know that this is the last book in the Powder Mage trilogy. Looks like they forgot my bookmark last time for the Crimson Campaign. Um, but December is the Autumn Republic. Forgot to use all my block ribbons for Christmas, so that was a big fail, but that's okay. I'll just save them up for next year. And there it is. The cover is very pretty. Ooh, almost dropped it. Oh my gosh, okay. The spine. The back it says i would die for my country but i'd rather kill for it <laughs> and the edges which finishes this like military-esque scene it is signed by the author of course in the naked hardcover is very pretty i love the printed covers signed end pages that looks freaking crazy and really cool Super cool. Um, yeah, we've talked about book one and two on my channel, so I don't think I need to talk about it really at all, especially since it's third book. But I know it's some sort of like French Revolution time period, but they're mages and they have magic, which is just crazy to me and really cool. So this wraps up this trilogy. And then I believe they're doing a Norse inspired one next, like the next trilogy they're doing for their subscription. But Broken Binding, super fun, super cool. Glad I have this. And now into the more substantial unboxing, which is the YA Fairy Loot for December. This is the spoiler card, and the theme for December is Artifacts of Power. First thing I see is this little box that says Howl's Moving Castle Tea Light Holder, designed by Belonka Designs. Okay, so this is like those little things that the Bookish Box has done before, where it's this little like candle holder, and it has a little carousel. And it looks like it has some happy flames and some stars. So that's cute. I don't know how much use of this I will get out of this just because I have one that I really like that's dragons. But I just don't tend to use small candles like this. I tend to use big ones like Bath and Body Works big candles, like three wick candles. But this is really cool if you are looking for something like this. The next thing I see is this orange box that says What the River Knows Scarif. Designed by Michaela Alcano Design. I hope I said that right, but. Oh, this is fancy looking. What is this? Okay. It's a scarf, I guess? Okay, so it's like a silk scarf with this pattern. 
on it. Pretty unique. I tend to like like I tend to like things like this and then never use them. So I will probably pass this along to somebody else that would really like it. But that was a beautiful presentation and is a beautiful um, scarf design. All of that stuff. Really cool. <gasps> the next thing I see are these, which are bookends. I love these metal bookends that they do. And this one has a sword. It looks like it's Camelot or Excalibur. Yes, Legendborn bookends. These are so cool. I love the sword. I love these things. I use them on the tops of my bookshelf all the time. I love this. I love it. I will I will use them. I will keep them forever. I may be out of space, but I don't care. And then the last thing we have, <gasps> the last thing we have before the book are the um, tarot cards for the month. So we have the Seven of Moons and the Eight of Moons, which looks like they are Violet and Zayden from Fourth Wing. We love it. We love Zayden, we love Vi. So it looks like I'm actually missing an item. There's supposed to be a packing cube here, so I will have to get in touch with Very Loot about that, but I apologize that I don't have it to unbox. It's apparently designed by No One Designs and is inspired by An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, which I love, so. Unfortunate for me. No, it's fine, I'll let them know. And then we have our monthly bookmark, the art print and author letter. And then let's get into the book of December. Okay, so the book for December is What the River Knows by Isabel Ibanez. And this edition is very unique to the other cover, but it's really pretty, very Egyptian-esque. Mine's a little bit beat up at the top, but that's okay. Spine edges are really cool hieroglyphics versatile dust jacket and the naked hardcover looks kind of like the normal edition cover spine and the back has crocodiles on it got some foiling on the end pages and i can't tell if this is signed but it could very well be a printed signature it's still really cool though and i've heard i've heard the hype about this book whether it was hype about it coming out or that they read it and loved it. I've heard really good things about this book or a lot of expectations about this book. And I've heard it's like a crossover between The Mummy and something else, which everyone, it's like a beloved movie, The Mummy now, which is funny because it was like coming out when I was growing up. Um, the featured book of the month is What the River Knows. It's an immersive historical fantasy set in Egypt and filled with adventure, arrivals, two lovers, romance, and a dangerous race. That sounds good. So I think the hype is gonna be understandable for this. I am very excited about it. I am glad I have a copy of it. It's pretty unique, which is cool. And I hope to get to this in January, actually. So that is it for today's bulk unboxing. I tried to get through it really quickly so I can get these videos up. I'm really struggling getting my unboxings up, as I've said before, so hopefully I can get this up soon. But please comment down below and let me know what your favorite box was or book. That is it for today's video. Please like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time. Stay safe and caffeinated. Bye.